Hello, Bees Bladers, and welcome newcomers to the channel. I have a quick unboxing of a budget knife from Savivi for your viewing pleasure today. A huge thank you to my subscribers and my patrons on Patreon. Thank you for supporting the channel. Links to my Patreon, Instagram, and mailing address, all that stuff's in the description. All kinds of stuff down there, so go check it out. So I won this knife on a giveaway during a live stream on the YouTube channel, Zach Stuff. If for some weird reason you haven't heard of Zach Stuff on YouTube and Instagram, uh, I, I don't know. I'm kind of shocked. He's very, he's a very kind reviewer, um, and you will quickly find that he has a proclivity to benchmade, which uh, probably the first time you see him, you will figure out. So let me do this without looking into the camera. And I'm using a Civiti riffle to open the box today. It's probably all it took. Yep. And we got peanuts. Get your peanuts. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. It's a slow baby. And let's see what else we got here. All kinds of packing peanuts. And Zach is a very giving, very kind person. And he is always doing giveaways. And here's my swag pack I got with the knife that I won. And let me show you this swag pack. Oh, my gosh got all kinds of stuff in it hey I give away swag but I like swag just as much suburban tactical nation got a pin I'm not gonna take forever to go through this stuff but I'll show you guys what we got here I got all kinds of stuff got a bench made I think you could only get this at the factory of course I think uh, Zach spends half his time at the factory got some DSKFS, if you don't know what that means for for some reason, that's do something kind for someone. So I got that, got another one, got a Zach stuff. He's got some cool swag. Another Zach stuff. Got a big red EDC. What's up, JB? Southern Edge Knife Works. Mark's Gear. Saturday Knife Live. Don't miss it. And we got a couple of... Uh, Cleaning swabs from KPL. Uh, I have 10% off uh, discount code in the description for Knife Pivot Lube. And got a couple patches. All right, so I'm going to move this stuff out of the way and get to the knife. And voila. Don't you wish you could clean your house that fast? And here it is. And of course, it opened because it was, this has been on YouTube before. What? How about that? Let's see. Try not to rip the box anymore. There we go. All right, let's check this out. It is a Civivi. Now, as far as I know, this was like specially made for uh, for for a way to say thank you from from Wee Knives, you know, who makes Civivi, and it is a slip joint. But here's a good look of look at it up close. And I, they do not make these anymore. If you go look like on uh, one of the online retailers, it's it'll say available because they you can still get them, but they're discontinued. And the right they're like uh, I think they're like twenty seven, twenty eight bucks. So there's there's those both sides. This is what it looks like on the top. Here's this side, and let's open it up. Take a look at the blade. It's a pretty nice looking blade. I like that finish. Stone washy. Here's this side. And then here's your steel. Can we read it? It's uh let's see if I can read it. You know what? I'm gonna use the camera. There we go. HCR 14 MOV. Alright, I'm gonna set it down here so if you want to take a screenshot and you haven't seen this knife, now's your chance. And I'll turn it over. So what I'm gonna do is, after this video, I'm gonna get all the specs and I'll put them up here on the screen so you can check them out, screenshot them, pause, do whatever you want, skip over them. But for now, we're gonna move right along. I am gonna see how much it weighs here real quick. Movie magic! Oh, it's lightweight, 2.98 ounces. How about that? How about that? That's nice, very nice. All right, so this is a slip joint. Let's check this out. Let me zoom out here just a little bit for you. Because So it has a half stop and then pow, right in the kisser. Pow, right in the kisser. Pow, right in the kisser. 
So this is a slip joint, which means this is gonna be legal in most places. Um, even though I am gonna get the specs later, I'm gonna measure the uh, blade here real quick, just so I know what it is. So real quick, it looks like um, we're over three inches, about uh, three and an eighth, somewhere around there. So starting at the front, we have no markings on the blade. Here's your Civivi logo. And big old screws there. I'm sure those are, yep, T8 that needed tightened. T8s, so they've got T8s. And you got a, you got a uh, lanyard hole right here. And from these holes, that's telling me you've got a reversible. This is a reversible deep carry pocket clip, which is nice, very, very nice. Here's a look at your pocket clip. You can't see the screws, nice recessed screws, no mushrooms growing in the shade there. And their pocket clips are uh, pretty nice. I don't have any complaints about their pocket clips. And you're good to go with your lanyard hole. Okay, put that away and let's look inside here. What kind of, what are we looking like for liners? It's dark in there, boys. Oh, okay, there you go. Nice and milled out. That's why it doesn't weigh so much. That's pretty cool. And this has, uh, looks like bronze washers right inside there and there and there and there. All right. And let's see if we are centered. I, I don't even know if these won't center. I'm not familiar. I'm not that familiar with slip joints. Okay. So there's that. Let's do some quick size comparisons. So, you know, for such a, a good knife, you know, it's, it's, we'll go to Ergo's here in a second. Let me stay on track. Okay. We'll put up the normies. You guys know who they are if you watch my videos. Okay, Spyderco Tenacious, Spyderco Manix 2. So you can see it's a nice full-size knife. And got to put up the Spyderco Pair 3. So it's, it's got a little length on the Spyderco Pair 3. And this is one that I figured it would be kind of similar to. Here's the Civivi Imperium. And lengthwise, the Imperium has a little bit on the handle and the blade, but not a whole lot. Might as well put the riffle, Civivi riffle up here. It seems that I'm starting to get the whole Civivi collection. All right, Civivi Ortis. We'll just put two more, one more. And the Civivi Backlash. So you see it's a nice full-size knife, not too big, not too small, and it's gonna be legal in a lot of places. Now is the time where I ask that you please give me a thumbs up if you're still watching, or if you're not still watching and you somehow know that I'm asking, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please do that too. And let's check out the action. I guess the action is, is you know, like I said, I'm not used to this. It's two-handed here. Can I open it one-handed? That's the question. Let me see. Ugh. Boy, I don't know. That might take some skills. I don't know. I don't know if this is going to be, yeah, you can. So if you were used to it, I guess you could do it one hand operation. It's just, okay, I think farther down here and then yeah, I can roll it the rest of the way. So as you can see, you probably tell, this has a pretty stiff action. It's, it's very solid feeling. And I, that's the way it's supposed to. It's a slip joint. It's not, it's not a swing, 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 like, like I'm used to. So there's your action, two handed, and you can get it out there, and I'm, I'm sure it'll loosen up a little bit. It's probably just tight because it's brand new. So there's your action. I guess we can check out what it looks like. For reference, from here to here is three and a half, or from here to here is four inches, from here to here is three and a half, and from the start of my palm to the end of my middle finger is seven and a quarter. That's the size of my hand when it is like this. So here is what it looks like in the hand. Plenty of room, so how does it feel? Okay, it doesn't feel too bad. Um, kind of, I kind of wish I had some more. Get that knife out of the way. Kind of wish I had a little more handle. Okay, now holding it like this, that's not too bad. Oh, see, that's that's something I'm not used to, not being able to put pressure on top of the spine. So I guess this is a dude, when you cut, you're gonna want your thumb back here for sure. So that's gonna be a requirement. Otherwise, you're gonna be pushing because it's not locked. So there's your grip. There's your cutting grip. Um, I guess you'd be okay doing utility cuts with it. It fits the hand well for that. I don't think this is going to be a super hard user. I mean, it feels solid. 
I'm not getting any hot spots. The, uh, you know, the clip a lot of times becomes a hot spot, but in this case, the clip actually helps it fill my hand out a little bit, makes it a little bit thicker. So that's pretty cool. But for a slip joint, I would guess this is a, a pretty good deal. It's got a nice long slender blade and, oh, check that out. For sure, I believe we got a hologram, boys and girls. Yeah, we got a hologram blade. How about that? Ooh, and it's shop. It's shop. Ooh, that's nice. Very nice. How about that? Okay, so that's going to make up. We don't have a very wide blade, but that hollow ground grind is going to help make up for that short, short amount of space we have to go from tip to spine. So that's going to be a good thing. And you, you, you guys have already read the specs. You know what it is behind the edge. I don't. But it feels pretty good. Feels pretty good. So my first impressions overall, well... For a slip joint, I would have to say it's, you know, it's like using my, my grandpa's old timer or case knives. It's going to be, it's going to be like that, except for a lot longer blade per se. So I don't have any problems with that. I don't have any hot spots. Nowhere on the inside. It's not bothering me in here. This is all nice and smooth. Everything is smooth up here. You got a swedge helping keep your blade strong. So you're going to have a strong tip. You always have to have a strong tip, right? So I don't think there's uh, there's nothing to really complain about. I'm going to carry this guy and see what I think about it. I am going to have to get used to the fact that it's not locked in place. And if you're used to carrying slip joints, that's not going to be anything for you. So thank you guys for stopping by for a bit. If you're new to knife collecting and you or you've been collecting for a while, stick around. Teach us something or maybe we can teach you something. We'll learn and teach together, right? So remember, live life in the present. Keep a Band-Aid handy and don't cut yourself.